from the Weather NorCal Command Center. This is your afternoon update. American Door Company has been family owned and operated for over 29 years, supplying Northern California with quality garage doors, garage door openers, and installed with the best service you'd expect from a locally owned company. We serve all of Northern California from Willows all the way up to the Oregon State Line. Give us a call today. Hello everyone. Well, of course, that wet weather finally arrived. I think it's a welcome sight. We got a nice little break. Now we're getting some needed rainfall across the area. Here's a look at just north of Trinidad at Elk Country. There, of course, is the wet conditions we're seeing out there. We take you out to Crescent City up north. And of course, looking at the wet conditions out there as well, the winds should be picking up for pretty much everyone. Gusty winds here are expected throughout the rest of the day today. There you can see, of course, looking at Lake Oroville, North Fore Bay, uh, the wind's kind of blowing, looking at uh, some small waves, I guess you could say, in the lake there. But overcast skies there, not everyone is seeing rain at all times. So we're gonna be looking at wet conditions off and on all day today here. And there you can see, of course, looking at Trinity Center, and we've got the wet conditions out there as well. So it is wet. That seems to be the theme here for today. You've got plenty of snow off in the higher elevations. So snow is going to create some chain requirements and some issues here, especially east of I-5. The wet weather returns today. We've already seen that. The gusty winds are going to be from the south at 30 to 40 miles per hour. And those gusts could create a few problems out there as well. With snow levels today and tomorrow, somewhere between 3,000 and 4,000 feet. I think they'll be a little bit higher today than tomorrow. Tomorrow they may drop just a tad, and that could, of course, uh, maybe mean some minor issues on I-5. Otherwise, I do expect off and on rain here through early next week, and quite possibly into the middle of next week. There you can see the storm system right here. That's what we have in store for us today. But a fairly active pattern, as you can see here over the Pacific, but this is the main system for today. This is the one we've got our eyes on here for Saturday because that's what's going to bring us another round of heavy rainfall and gusty winds. Between these two is cool and unsettled air. So what we'll be dealing with here for Thursday, still more scattered showers, maybe a bit of a break on Friday. Yeah, and then that guy comes in here for Saturday. So let's take a look at future cast, all right? So there you can see as we take you into the afternoon hours, into the evening, we could see some thunderstorms popping up. And there may be a bit of what we call that convergence zone where you see the strong south winds, they butt up against the mountains and it really creates that line just north or around the Redding area. And that can create some heavy rainfall in one particular location for a long period of time and even create some localized flooding. We'll have to watch for that here as we go through the afternoon and evening. But bottom line, there could even be a few isolated thunderstorms, even for the valley and especially west of the valley here as well. But there you can see some of the snow that we are seeing in the higher elevations too. So again, you have to go above four or 5,000 feet so that's mainly going to be the chain requirements east of I-5. But I do anticipate that the snow levels will start to drop as we go into tonight and into tomorrow. By 8 o'clock tonight, we're seeing another line that could produce some more rain here for parts of the valley. Then we get a bit of a break. And then tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., what we're starting to see here is that I think most of the activity through the day tomorrow will be to the north and west. And we'll see that when we look at future casts through time. Snow levels between three and 4,000 feet. We're beginning to see more snow around Mount Shasta, Dunsmuir. So there's potential that we could see at the very least a mix. And as I mentioned, maybe some minor problems here on I-5 north of Redding as we go into tonight and tomorrow and those snow levels drop just a little bit, as I mentioned here, but we could see that. See, still seeing some of that snow there, but look at to the south. We're not seeing a lot of rain. That's not to say we won't see any. I do anticipate to see some showers, but overall, you can see the bulk of the activity is off to the north and west. This is looking at tomorrow at 6 p.m. We could see some of that clip the north end of the valley. So Redding quite possibly seeing another round of some decent rain for the second half of the day on Thursday. But again, notice the activity is mainly to the north, northwest and even some orographic snow. That's the wind kind of blowing up the mountains there, producing some snow there. And then look at that by tomorrow night. Thursday, it's mostly gone. There's 6 a.m. on Friday, mainly dry conditions. I am anticipating that late in the day Friday, we may see some showers in advance of the main storm system that's coming in on Saturday. This is Saturday's storm system, and that's what's going to bring us another round of heavy rainfall and those gusty winds. Rainfall totals, I don't, I don't think Futurecast is doing a really good job here because it's only showing about 1,300s out in Rebla. I think we'll see more than that here, especially just for today alone. But I think on average, about a half of an inch in the valley, give or take, I think more to the north, less as you head to the south. And of course, the heaviest rainfall, because we're combining what we're going to see here today 
And as you saw in future casts, most of the rain and snow will be to the north and west. So that's why we do anticipate to see a lot more rain there off to the west. Now the snow, it is picking up on the potential for some light snow accumulation in the Chester area, but Bernie, Mount Shasta City, maybe a bit of a mix. So most likely not seeing accumulating snow there. I think that'll be mainly just a mix, most likely not accumulating in Etna. All rain in Weaverville, Hayfork, uh, places like Shingletown, maybe a bit of a mix at 3,500 feet, but you have to go up in the upper elevations of Shingletown, probably closer to Biola before you start seeing some of that snow. And of course, we could even see some light accumulation out towards Alturas as well. So the winds, that is another thing we need to take into account because they're going to be blowing this afternoon. Could see gusts even in the valley 30 to 40 miles per hour. And I do expect later this evening and tonight, the winds will subside but still be gusty at times through the day on Thursday and in particular out along the coast here. But there you can see we're still seeing those gusts over 20 miles per hour. So still breezy, borderline windy for your Thursday. And then you can see as we go into your Friday, still gusty. Uh, even in the afternoon here, especially to the north and west. So the winds, yes, they're going to subside after today, but still gusty at times for many of us. Now the long range is showing, yes, as we go into Saturday, there's that storm system coming in on Saturday. Snow levels will be fairly high, around 5,000 feet. Sunday, we do see a bit of that break. And then by Sunday into Monday, we've got the, that chance for more rain coming in going into your Tuesday as well. That counterclockwise flow around that low will tap into the moisture to the south and stream it northward into Northern California. And maybe even next Wednesday, we could see a chance for some showers as well. So you get the idea, a lot more rain is in the forecast and we haven't seen much change in the long range forecast indicating we got some pretty high confidence in the timing and the overall intensity of this rain. So there you can see the wave heights for today fairly high, right? And then as we go into your Thursday, we actually may see them drop a little bit, but bottom line, there still is that small craft advisory through tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Temperatures today in the low 50s for the valley, and in the higher elevations, we're talking temperatures in the low to mid 40s for today. Low 50s for Hoopa and Willow Creek, but somewhere in the mid 50s out along the coast here. So looking at your seven day outlook, yes, we've got a chance for rain almost every day. I think the breaks we'll see will be on Friday and then again on Sunday. Otherwise, I think every other day we'll be looking at that chance for that rain out there. Snow levels today, tomorrow between three and 4,000 feet. Snow levels by Saturday into early next week, 5,000 feet. It's that warmer subtropical air that's moving on in. So for the valley, yeah, I think we'll see the break on Friday. Uh, just some showers on Thursday, but I think most of it will be to the north and northwest of the valley. Uh, and then, of course, as we go into your Sunday dry, more wet weather going into Monday and Tuesday. Looking at your seven-day outlook for the north coast, yeah, there it is. More showers on Thursday. In fact, heavier rainfall, another round of some heavy rainfall, that is, uh, especially for the coast and inland on Thursday. Uh, places even in Trinity County could see some decent rain as well on Thursday, drying out Friday. And then there you can see uh, by the time we get into Saturday, more rain, dry Sunday, more rain Monday and Tuesday.